Hey, babe. What's up? Where were you last night? Oh, yeah. Um, me and Todd, we went to Subway, and uh, we we're trying to figure out how many sandwiches he Jack, did. we were supposed to go to dinner for my dog's birthday. I've been planning this for weeks. Gosh, Audrey, I'm, I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. Really? Because I seem to remember you saying that last time, and the time before that, and the time before that. Oh, yeah, and the time before that. Hey, I didn't blow you off that last time. Jack, that was your grandpa's funeral. Honestly, I don't even know why I put up with you sometimes. Babe, wait. How about tomorrow night? Me and you. We can have dinner, celebrate your ferret's birthday or whatnot. Sound like a plan? It's a dog, not a ferret. Sure, sounds like a plan. See you then. Let's go! <laughs> Man, what was that all about? She a ride with us? No, um, she's actually really upset with me right now. Um, I was supposed to go out with her for dinner, and we went to Subway instead. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, you feeling good, by the way? That was a lot of sandwiches you ate yesterday. Yeah, I'm fine. Only an hour on the can this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you still good for tonight? Got this oh. whole thing planned for us. Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> uh... What? We have a presentation today. <laughs> Don't worry. After you left yesterday, I spent a whole 30 minutes on it, so... F! All that work for nothing. Come on, man. 49 isn't that bad. Our chemistry presentation last year, that was bad. I don't know, dude. Things have just been falling apart recently, you know? Our grades, Audrey and I, even us, dude. I mean, after this year, you'll be going up to college, and that'll be the last of it. Take you haven't put any more thought into reapplying? Not at all. College just doesn't appeal to me, I guess. I mean, I struggle even now in high school. I don't see college getting any better. It's just not going to be the same without you, dude. Want to play some Minecraft? Yeah. You know, we still really need to find that village. Yeah, I saw that Woodland Mansion not too long ago, so maybe we could go over there and maybe get some uh, Gems of Undying. Uh, oh, we could do a raid fall. Yeah. Alright. What's that smell? Whoever smelt it dealt it, dude. Oh, shoot! Oh, God. Dude. I think we may be cursed or something, man. Come on, man. No, we're not. Oh, really? Then why does it seem like everything's just falling apart? We just need a win. A what? A win. That's all we need. Yeah, but how? Get a new PlayStation for starters. How are we going to get the money for that? We're both broke. And don't you dare say we can get a job. Remember what happened when we worked at Walmart? Yeah, you're right. I, we just ask around for ideas. Just see that way, right? Yeah, sure. Nice. All right, man. Let's put up. Wait, how do you get money? Get a job. I'm serious. If you even invest a little bit into this, you're set for life, man. Is this a pyramid scheme? No. Why am I even listening to you? I can't invest. His name is Max. He doesn't fight unless you get within three feet of him. And I would not recommend that. So, you win. Hey, cute stuff. Got any ways to make money fast? Ugh. I got a $20 McDonald gift card. Had to go with the gift card. Shut up, man. Any luck? No, unless you want a chihuahua named Maximus. We're never gonna get this money. Hey, you guys need to make some cash. Wait, Terry. 
Yeah. Need some cash. But my parents have a poker ring on the down low. I work as moderator there. Maybe I can cash you two in tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Hey. You sure? Where's that? What the heck, dude? We don't know how to play poker. Listen, we play Uno all the time. Can't be that different. What if we lose? That's if we lose. Whatever. Hey, Todd? Yeah, Todd? So, I may have lied. Um, Uno and poker are really different. What tipped you off? Well, yesterday when I went home, uh, I watched a new James Bond movie, and he plays poker a lot, and it looks really hard. Or you turn back. No, we need a win. Hey, you guys finally made it. Hey. <laughs> Hi. We're just about to start. Go on, go in. Do you know how to play Texas Hold'em? Yeah! Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got this. It's not too late to turn back. Yeah. Chips are on me tonight, boys. Well, thank you. Sir? Uh, yeah. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. Show your cards. The sir has a two pair. Yeah, yeah, I think you do. Goldfish. <laughs> the sir has a pair of sevens. One, two, three, four, five, seven. That's only two sevens. The madam has a pair of sevens, ace high. Oh, so then I can, I can do that, right? Yeah. The sir has a two pair, three high. Is that good? The sir wins the pot. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Want to share? Yeah, sure. You want to go again? Why not? As an undilated display of new sound, we are live on stage. That's an undilated display of new sound. Check it out, you now rock it with the best. That's an undilated display of new sound. We are live on stage. Great. Boom! Oh yeah! <laughs> nice job! Oh man, this is too easy. Yeah. When you guys like cash out. For sure. Oh, of course. Looks to be about 50,000. Hey look, you guys really need to get out of here. That is Marcus Province. He's the most ruthless mob boss around. Last time he lost a poker game, none of the opponents left with their fingers. So, who's winning all the chips tonight? Right here. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Get out of here. No, I'm the one who got you into this mess. I'm staying. I got this. You? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Mr. Providence, your usual 100k.
show your cards. Wait. What are you doing? <sighs> Getting us the win. $120,000. I got this, man. My car. Dimension Sir, cut. you can't. I'll allow it. Whoa. Yes, Mr. Province. Show your cards. The sir has a full house. Mr. Province has a royal flush. Mr. Province wins the hand. Well, it was fun, but uh, it's time to pay up. Wait. We're, we're playing for real? I thought this was just kind of like a for, 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 for fun thing. Yeah, um, can I just take my keys Is back? this some kind of joke? I'm serious, pay up. Well, I think my car's worth less than $10,000, so why don't we just go out and get you the money? Oh, do you just have $10,000 lying around? Um, uh... Wait, it's at my house. How we can go and get it, and we're back to you guys. You have 24 hours. And if you try to screw with me or scam me, which include any ill fatal escape attempts, I will not hesitate to send my men after you. You really sent your men after two kids? Oh yeah. These are our dead months. We have nothing better. Use this to call me when you have my money. My phone number should already be in there. Scram! <sighs> Where are we gonna get ten thousand dollars? I don't know, man. Got any ideas? Poker. Poker was the idea from the get-go. That was all we had. Okay. There may be one way. What? Remember that Brian guy at school? Got super rich out of nowhere? Lives in a mansion now? No, of him. We call him. Go for it. Alrighty. Oh, hey, Jack. What's up? Hey, Brian. Um. So, you remember he got rich out of nowhere? Yeah? How'd you do that? Listen, man. I don't know. That memory is kind of blurry. <sighs> Brian, please. This is guy, his name is Marcus Promise, and he's coming after us if we don't give him $10,000 in 24 hours. Okay. It was February, 2019, and it was towards the end of the basketball season. And my performance was at the top of its game. But I wanted some new basketball shoes. But I wasn't about to get a job. That's lame. So I went to this like weird poker ring thing. And that's when I met this guy named Marcus and he destroyed me pretty pathetically. But I didn't have any money to pay him up with, so he sent some of his men after me, but I was able to duck into the woods for a short time. And that's when I saw her. Whoa. Wait, who'd you see? I don't know. It was like this weird chick lady. She asked me to come sit next to her, but I was like, ain't me, dog. That's stranger danger. But I was like, I'm dead anyway, so what difference does it make? That's when she asked me what I wanted most, and I told her that I wanted riches. She said she could do that for me, but it meant taking what I prized most. I heard the men coming up from behind me, so she tur I turned to look at her, and she gave me this bag. I opened the bag, and there was at least $10,000 in there. I turned back to thank her, but she was gone. Whoa. Wait, wait, what'd you lose? Dude, she took my basketball skills. I got kicked off the team the next game because somehow I scored 20 points for the other team. Where'd, where'd you find her? I think the legend goes, you can see her towards the outside of town. But, Jack, you're not seriously... Thanks, Brian. Talk to you later. I don't know, man. Seems like some bull. Bro, what else do we have? Let's go. I can't believe how easy that was. It's like they'd never even played before. <laughs> what is it, boss? I gave them the wrong phone. What do you mean? 
I gave them my actual phone instead of this BURNER PHONE! What is it, dude? I have to pee. We'll run low on gas, too. Here, we'll pull in the next gas station, okay? Hey, how you doing? Where were you? Um, oh, yeah, um, so me and Todd we broke our PlayStation, so we went to this, like, gang poker match, and, well, that... You know what? I don't even want to hear it. You were supposed to be there tonight. I'm not sure how many more times I can put up with this. Babe, hey, I can make it up to you, I swear. Tomorrow night, I, I can fix this, okay? But you won't. That's exactly what you said last time. Audrey, Derek's here. Just a second. Who is that? Well, you didn't show up. Your neighbor Derek invited me over to hang out in his jacuzzi. You beat me for a guy with a jacuzzi? Well. Not just that, but yeah. Mostly that. Okay, please. Give me one more chance. I, I, I can fix this, okay? Goodbye, Jack. Dude, you wouldn't believe what was happening while playing with me. You okay, bro? Audrey broke up with me. You alright, bro? I don't I don't know, man. Todd, what happened, man? Everything we do just seems to go wrong. And this whole situation with Marcus, we can't get ten thousand dollars. And let's say hypothetically we find this chick, you know what that means, right? Todd. Our friendship means everything to me, and I can't shake what Brian said about her taking away what you prize most. Because what I prize most, dude, is us. <laughs> Todd, it's it's always been us. From day one to kindergarten to now. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, man. I hate to say it, bro, but I'm going to be going off to college. We're going to be separated. You know it'll cheer you up? What? And if you say card jousting, I swear... No. I got the perfect idea. <laughs> Burger. How's it taste? Tasting pretty good. Thank you for using your card, by the way. I knew you were saving that for a special occasion. It wasn't going to go to any use. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, how are you feeling, by the way? Feeling a lot better now. It's like the eighth time it's happened, so... That's like seven more than I knew about. Todd, I don't have to tell you everything about me and Audrey. It's our relationship, you know. How'd they happen? Um, ooh. So there's this one time, right, where I got a slice of cheese, threw it at her dad's face to the Young Man song. Young Man! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Uh, this two liter of Diet uh, Coke, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Um, perfect opportunity for a Mentos. Put that into the top as a trap, they unscrew it, exploded everywhere. Yeah, um, she wasn't too happy when I was at her cousin's apartment spot. Uh, there's also the other time where I set her dog on fire. What? In a video game. Don't. Um, oh yeah, and there was that time I made out with her sister. Dude, nothing alike. I know, I know. Then you always got back together? Yeah, every time. Because you know Todd, Audrey, she takes me in small doses. And Todd, you know, if you just listen to me for women advice, you'd be drowning in them. <sighs> How far are we from town? About an hour out. Do I have time to take a nap? I'm tired, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. We can take a nap. But only for like an hour. Mm. You can't waste too much time now. Can we get the glasses? Ugh. I always wore them better than you did. What do you mean?
Hey, Jack. Oh, uh, yeah? It's all going to be just fine. I hope so. Just fine indeed. See you in a few. Dude. What? Oh, jeez, we gotta go. No, wait, no, 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 I'm hungry. Okay, make it quick this time, all right? What the? What do we do? Run! that about do you think? Beats me dude. Maybe they wanted our six sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, maybe they just don't think we can get the money in time. Yeah, that makes sense. What's wrong? I don't know, it's probably nothing. Just This car's been behind us for a while now, so let me check. No, I don't want to make you paranoid after the whole Mountain Dew incident, but it is that. What? You need a red man, chill out. Oh my. Jack, you slow down. Serious, dude. Oh my gosh. We need to go. Yeah, he's here. Slow down, dude. Oh my. Dude, I'm serious. Slow down. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? You've got a flat. Slow down. Hold you should slow down. I'll give this to myself. Go, 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 go. I know what you're gonna say. Then we're gonna make it out of this somehow. No. We're lost, man. Might as well just stay here and wait for Mark to inevitably come find us. Remember in second grade? When it rained all night and the mud was still fresh? Sam Cunningham bet us a box of yogos that we wouldn't like the mud. I was a bit hesitant. Remember what you said? <laughs> I ain't no wimp. Scooped some up and gave it a taste. I'll give you some too. Of course the teacher had to show up. Yeah. And we went to the office. But we're in it together, man. It's always us. The reverie, failure to every success. And you know, Todd, if we end up dying today, well, that's with you, man. Same here, bro. Remember when Neil told Audrey you liked her? <laughs> we spent all of recess trying to run away from her and her friends. So we got that scar when we tried to jump in the fence. 
That fence jump was a little bit excessive. Wait, what's that? Wait, what? It's light in the woods, but in the middle of the woods, that makes no sense. Dude. Dude. Do you think it's, it's her? The chick in the woods that Brian was talking about? There's only one way to find out. So what are you doing out here? Well, it's a bit of a long story, so... Tell me. Where do you even start? Um, so basically, me and Todd here, right, we've been on a bit of a losing streak recently, so we tried to get a win by getting a new PlayStation. So we went to this gang poker match, we lost, and we owe these guys a bunch of money. And uh, if we don't give them the money, we're going to die. Um, and so then we heard about this lady in the woods who can grant wishes, and we're like, okay. And so we've been on the search forever since. Then I guess you found her, for I am she. Let's go. I can help you. Uh, but there is a price to be paid, remember? What is it you both prize most? I don't know about Jack, but I prize our friendship the most. Is that true for you as well? I can help you, but you two will never see each other again. Can we get a minute to say goodbye? I guess this is it. I guess so. Just Why does it have to be so soon? Dude, you know this would come. I have to go to college anyways. I know, just... It's all happening so fast, and Todd, I'm scared, man. I don't want things to change. Things are gonna change. We still have weekends. No, we, no, it won't. Todd, after this, we won't be able to see each other ever again. That's, I just want you to know, bro, before, you know, the best bro bro could have ever bro bro. Thanks, bro. I'll never forget you. We're ready. Hey, morons! What is it you want most? Who the heck are you? What is it you want most? I want my freaking phone from these dipwads. I can help with that. Yeah, whatever. What a load of bolt. Thank you. Now, what to do with these two? What's so funny? What are you really? Well, I told you it came with a price, and for you, that's your power over others. Now, back to you two. Are you sure you want to go through with this? We have to, dude. What? Marcus is gone. It doesn't matter, dude. It wasn't just him, it was the whole gang. If we don't give him the money, they're gonna be after us forever. Let's do it. I'm going to make an exception for you two. You can take the money. No catch. Why? And if I've learned anything from being alone in the woods all these years, it's that good friends are hard to come by. Now scram before I change my mind. Dude, there's like a lot more than 10k in here. We can get the new PlayStation. <laughs> Yo, I get it. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. And that should be the last of it. Looks like enough. I'll give it to the boss. Right. Now leave us alone. What the heck? What is it, dude? Tired, but we didn't tell her or anything. It's fixed. Well, well let's take it for what doesn't get home. And Jack, yeah? it's been a pretty legendary adventure. Legendary indeed, Todd. You know who can spend this two grand on. <laughs>
Yo, dude, just finish my castle. Want to take a look at it? Oh, that's looking <laughs> sick. Bro, you're like a tiny speck down there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh. You know, Todd, even though, like, everything has gone wrong today, I had a lot of fun. Gonna miss these times. Yeah.